Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to do something a little different and work with Microsoft Excel. And we are going to cover how to convert XML data to Excel spreadsheet or vice versa. If you followed my uh, C Sharp tutorial, you'll notice I covered the XML pretty extensively. So I figured in this one, we'll do something a little different and uh, convert XML data to Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so here I'm using Excel 2019, but you can use 2016, 2013, whichever you have. Um, I'm going to open my XML folder, and there's a file called context.xml. This is going to be the one we are going to use for this tutorial. Okay, so basically we have a few context objects or data. It's like a type of little phone book. We want to convert this data into XML spreadsheet, I mean Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so let's open our Excel. So here, the first thing we want to do, we want to go to our data tab. And all the way to the right, I mean to the left, there's a button called Get Data. We're going to click on that. From the drop down, drop down menu, we're going to select From File and then select From XML. All right, and then File Explorer opens and we are going to select the file we are looking for and click Import. All right, we'll be presented with this navigator window. So it has the file name here and then a context table. This icon here represents the table, I believe. We're going to select that. Uh, if you don't select that, until actually until we select that, these two buttons here will be grayed out. But once we select that, the data will display here as a preview and then the buttons will lit up. Okay, so we have a couple options here. We have load and transform data. Load has this arrow. If you click that, it gives us two options. Load and load to. So first we're going to try to load and see what happens. So once we select that, it gets the data. So a couple things happens here. First, it names the page or well, the sheet as contact and then um, transform the data into a uh, Excel table. Okay, so now we can add more data if we want to. Let's say, let's add another row, name and phone number. Okay and so on. Now at this point we can save this as an Excel workbook. Okay. But before we do that, let's try the other options. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to data tab. So click on get data from file from XML and select the same file and click import. Okay, we get the same window, navigator window. I'm going to, again, you'll see these two buttons here grayed out until we select this contact object. Once we do that, we get our preview data and then we get our buttons lit up. And this time I'm going to select load to Now this time we get another little window that gives us a little few more options. So we can uh, convert this to a table, a pivot table report, a pivot chart, or just a cre create a connection. And then we have two extra options that says existing worksheet or new worksheet. If I select existing worksheet, it will 
copy the data in the current worksheet that's active okay we can select the sale I mean the cell we want to but uh, you get the idea okay so I'm gonna say okay it will load the data in the same page okay so that's the two options let's try the other one too let's go back to our data tab get data from file from XML file select the XML file we want to and click import All right same thing we we'll select the contact we get the preview and this time we are going to use the transform data okay once we do that we get the preview of our data our queries here and a bunch of other options the main things i think this allows us to rearrange the columns if you want to we can move them now as i move them keep an eye on here it's going to add more steps to the this little window here now watch this I'm gonna move the phone to the first column and as you can see it create the new item here reordered columns okay so it records the changes that we do we can change the names here for the columns and so on okay I'm gonna get rid of this switch back to normal and again here to the left we have close load if we select that we get the same options like we did before we can either copy to an I mean load to a new page or we can select this next one it gives us the options where to load the data or as what as a table or pivot table report and so on so we are just interested in the table and we want a new worksheet well you know what let's go with the existing worksheet okay once again our data when we use the existing worksheet it doesn't rename the sheet it keeps as default and loads the data the same way that did before okay okay so we have seen how to easily import xml data into excel and convert to excel spreadsheet data and work with it we have seen a few different ways ways of doing it um it's up to you you can pick and choose any which way you want to um okay so that's that then there is another way to do this it's a little more powerful and it covers both important and export naturally okay so i'm going to save this before we move on to our next examples so i'm going to just save this and call this um xml to excel using data tab Okay. All right, so I'm going to open another Excel workbook. All right, so here we are going to use the developer tab. This tab by default is not there. You can add this after the fact. So there are a couple of ways to add to it at the tab one way is to go to file more options go to customize ribbon and then from the right pane here you'll see the developer um, checkbox here i'm going to uncheck since i already have it i'm going to uncheck it ju just to get rid of it and then to add back in i'm going to the other way actually this is the other way to add it to the uh, ribbon right click any empty spot on your ribbon 
you'll get two options. So the first option says customize the ribbon. So we're going to select that. And we're going, this is going to take us right inside where we need customize ribbon tab. And we are going to, on from the right pane, or this tree view, we can just checkbox, uh, click the checkbox and hit OK. And there you have it, your developer tab. Okay, now that we have the developer tab, we're going to import XML data. So there is a button here that says import, click that. And we are going to select our the same file that we used before, context.xml, and click import. And it's going to give us a uh, message box that says the XML, the specified XML source does not refer to a schema. Excel will create a schema based on the XML source data. We are going to say OK. And then we get the option whether we want to create in the same page or same spreadsheet or a different worksheet. So let's say we want a different worksheet. Hit OK. And it created a new sheet and added the data to our um, spreadsheet as a table, just like before. OK. All right. So. At this point, if you have extra data in a, in the form of Excel spreadsheet, you can merge the data. Let's say uh, we have uh, some data here on a diff in a different spreadsheet. We want to merge them together. Uh, let me just uh, see some values. That wasn't it. Paste values should be one of these. I don't want the. Um, I don't want the uh, table. It's not a table, is it? Let's see. It shouldn't be. Anyway, let's say you have again another set of data. Somewhere you want to merge the two sets. Let's change these names, for example. Josh. Um, Nick. Kim. Bill. Uh, Sean. And uh, let's say this is Wayne. Okay, let's change some of the numbers here. The phone numbers. So on and so forth. Okay, let's say we want to merge these two sets of data together. I'm just going to copy and add this extra row here and paste the data in there. So now we merged both all data together. Now, if we want to, we can uh, filter through data, find errors, find duplicates, and so on. So basically, we successfully imported. Uh, XML data into Excel spreadsheet using the developer tab and the import function. Okay, um, that's it for this tutorial. In the next part, we are going to cover how to export. And uh, until then, take it easy. Have a good one.